let me just get this out of the way first. This is in no way my own opinion. We're gonna be going based off of this game or this mod. A lot of you guys asked if I could delete the nations with the weakest ruler in uh, 2019. And that's what we're gonna do every single year. Sure, that won't be too, uh, too spicy. I actually personally don't ever look at this stuff myself. So as you can see, here's the leaders around the world, their rankings. So this guy's got like a 15 overall. I don't know why that's pretty random, but okay. Dude leading Switzerland is a pretty good guy. We got like admin, diplomacy, and military. I, I, again, I don't even know if this is meant to be, you know, I don't think they put too much thought into this. But then when I scrolled all the way down just to see who the weakest was, that's when I was like, oh. Okay, well that that is certainly not going to upset people. So uh, have fun with that mods. Have fun with that. <laughs> I'm just hey, this is an idea chosen by you guys, and uh, I'm just gonna go with it. We're not gonna start just yet. I'm actually gonna wait a year because uh, it gets much worse than this. Like certain nations will elect or just get taken over by even worse, and uh, and they'll have yeah like two or three points, which is terrible. So January 1st, 2021 is when we're gonna actually get this started. So there's gonna be some time. And again, every single January, I'll be removing places depending on just how bad their guy dude is. I don't know what a guy dude is. I just decided to say that. I like that there was also personalities. So right now, uh, Donald actually has entrepreneur. He has extra trade efficiency. So, okay, you know, it's not a terrible, terrible. Interesting to see uh, someone else pretty high on this list. I mean, 10 is okay. It's pretty middle of the road, as you can see. And in terms of his own personalities, he has, oh, okay. I don't know if this is random. I don't know how this, how this works. He's a conqueror though. Great. I'm actually just having a fun time looking at uh, what this mod is deciding. Justin over here, I guess is, uh, he's disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> or strict. I don't know. Oh, okay. We actually have some monarchs here, too. So, uh, with, uh, the British, Elizabeth doing, uh, I guess, okay, 10. She's got two personalities. She's... I... I don't know. But, okay, those are things that are there. I don't even know how long a lot of these leaders are gonna last, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. Oh, and look at that. Kimmy is not too far ahead. He only has seven pips, so he's a good, uh, military general, apparently. And he's also an... <laughs> he's ship durability? He's a navigator? Oh, man. He's definitely navigating things just in the air and, the, and they go boom. Does that, does that make sense? Does that, I don't know if I've made that clear enough. Like, you know, the... the uh, yeah. So if I was a nation in this world, I'd be very careful who we chose to uh, elect or who just randomly came into power, I guess. Because you might just wake up disappeared. You, you, you gonna get disappeared. We can actually probably look at a lot of errors and determine like, you know, who could be in a bad situation as uh, oh, so we got France doing elections in Germany. A lot of act- oh, wow, a lot of places can do elections. So be very, very careful. I'm telling you guys. Actually, now that I think about it, the best scenario for this is to probably not have elections. Just keep someone in power. That way you don't get too low on the list because that's, that's where things would go really horrible. Great Prince. I didn't realize it said Great Prince. Okay. And next election, 2030. Oh, that's not... Okay, he's probably not gonna make it then. Oh, no. Okay, well, a lot more leaders just joined the uh, the six club. Six overall. This is bad. I'm gonna have to delete a lot of nations. I also like how the Swiss were really close to the top, and then very fast, they, they just dropped towards the bottom. And we've made it through the first round of disappearances, I guess. Uh, the world doesn't look too different. There's, a, like, a couple of scattered nations that are gone, and then this thing, which Spain is already just carnivalizing carnivalizing carnival they're carnivores they're eating florida oh but i love how morocco's on it too look at that going straight after portugal and then uh yeah swiss disappeared oh yeah so, so did the checks checks gone i'm actually really surprised because doing my test runs like i did see a couple twos and threes really fast but not this time it was a bunch of sixes so had to eliminate them all unfortunately kimmy is gone too which i honestly i don't think i ever want to finish this anymore i now diagnose myself with depression everyone else seems to be just chilling so uh i guess we'll see what happens can leaders get worse can you lose some things i don't know we're gonna find out honestly i didn't even know this place existed until right now uh, i guess they have a terrible leader the french pacific it's known as just the french pacific i'm pretty sure that's not what it's officially called though oh this is a colony i think they're colonizing stuff apparently this is the c00 i'm pretty sure that means it's a colony whoa look at the us though man this thing is gonna get really interesting also morocco is in a great spot because look at all the stuff that just opened up oh that's crazy come on chad get over there chad ouch france ouch who did y'all elect france a three 
A three zero military. <laughs> okay, diplomacy. He was good at talking and uh, one administration. That's so low, guys. I honestly cannot believe you elected someone that low. Remember, those were elections too. So uh, once again, we're we're gonna lose them. A couple of nice conflicts going on over here. Also, of course, India not having a good time. Who is this? Pink. Who's that pink? Somalia, what the heck? Why, why are you, what are you guys doing over here? What's the top eight looking like now? So uh, it's a little different, not normal for sure, but uh, yeah, there's some couple other new faces, I guess. Well, this ain't good. Kazakhstan's now just been removed, which means, uh, well, Vladdy's gonna be able to take all of this, assuming he does. I mean, maybe these others could maybe jump on it. This is gonna be especially interesting though, because at any moment, someone could have just a terrible person start ruling them. So it doesn't matter if you're number one or not. Look at that, Egyptian, Texas. That is the weirdest combination. So just cause like Spain starts doing really well, you never know what can be going down at home, which will require a little snap. Oh, here comes Russian California. So even they're on it and the West Coast, Canada's kind of getting a little bit of Washington, I guess. We got two fours now heading over. And uh, one of them is actually because it's a Regency Council. Wait, Regency for a nine-year-old. Ouch. Well, that nine-year-old's about to get taken out. Kind of depressing because actually these guys were winning their conflict up here. So uh, they were disappeared. They were made to not exist. And uh, yeah, someone else is going to come up and start annexing them. Look how much open space there now is in the Sahara Desert. Not sure how valuable this stuff is, but we'll see who decides to go after it. France is still pretty much open for the taking. And oh, whoa, what happened to the Dutch? I think the Dutch just got annexed or uh, it might have been like a personal union or something. I can you do that in this game? I thought for a second Ireland was going back after the northern part, but no, that is Canada. Canada's taking Northern Ireland. Can't help but root for this Egyptian Mexico. Like that is the strangest thing. Also, we've got uh, Iceland over here in Georgia. Is that Georgia? Yeah, what are you doing in Georgia? Estonia was next up to be eliminated and they're already getting taken by Russia. No, no surprises there. And there's a little conflict happening this way. Actually, you know, the Russians are probably struggling because they got a lot to deal with. I'm genuinely surprised that some of these other places haven't started popping up towards the bottom part of the list. A little, little shocking, but uh, okay. Spain, come on now. You can't win again. You can't win again. I, uh, but, you know, Spain is a monarchy. Oh, something bad's happening. Is that Germany? Did, Ger did you make the thing happen? Uh, Operation What's that reverse thing? Reverse D-Day? Yep, there they are. They've got like thousands of troops here and the UK don't have much. So I guess they might not be removed or snapped away, but they just gonna lose a bunch of land and, and that's how they're gonna disappear. Yeah, you guys should probably do something about this. This is not a good look. Definitely don't want this to happen to your nation. Who is that? Sweden? Sweden is in Northern, uh, also the Dutch. Sweden is in Northern uh, Chile. It's taken a while for anyone to get over here for some reason. And once again, we've got new nations popping out of the old territory. I've never seen this place in my life and I. Would probably never be able to surprise like pronounce that just og huzz i'm gonna call that the og huzz wow you know surprisingly that didn't end that badly for the british they just lost a little piece of cornwall it's fine i think they're cool with that Woo! the island of samoa electing a three as well which he's you know that's not even that bad he's chill administration and and, and diplomacy he just doesn't have this which they don't even need that i don't need a military i actually feel a little bad for doing this because yeah like that wasn't even a terrible terrible pick because i mean they're fine they were doing okay over here we have ireland and slovenia out here in Indochina because Indochina has just been getting hollowed out a lot of places disappearing here just waiting for that next big one just waiting there hasn't been too many big places a couple of I mean South Africa just went away that's kind of a big deal but nothing too crazy yet Russia Canada and Japan now all sharing a little bit of the West Coast which is kind of a nice combination I guess they still need to watch out for the beasts over here the soon to be beasts is there a better word there though like cat people they liked cats and mummies, they like mummy people. New Iceland, oh, is everyone cool with that? I'm cool with that. In Georgia, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, a little bit of what, Virginia, something like that. They're New Iceland and that's like my favorite new name. New Ireland is, I guess, you know, kind of pretty cool too. And actually the places over here would probably really welcome that. India must be going through some hormonal phases, their teenage years, they got a lot of uh, blemishes on their edges. Maybe some, uh, Claritin? Clariton? What's it? What's the acne medicine? I can't remember. What is that called though? General. I can't even remember what like the general stuff is called now. Proactive. Proactive. That's what it used to be called. Swedish La Plata. I definitely welcome that. Let's see if anyone like tries to kick him out. Argentina could probably do that pretty easily, but I don't know if they're willing to. Ouch, Florida. Ouch. That is uh, that's a tough one. You elected a four, but I mean, he was okay. He was actually average uh, army wise, just couldn't do anything else. Honestly though, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised to see Florida do some crazy? Who's the best leaders in the world right now? So 17, 17 little points here. We got almost perfect scores basically from Iceland, Ethiopia, Cuba, <laughs> 
Congo and wherever that is. I don't even know what the hell that is. Yeah, it seems pretty uh, weird. Iceland makes uh, a lot of sense. Oh, we got another seven seed. So no, another one's perfect. No perfect person just yet. Oh, and look at that. The e great Ethiopian leader can now benefit from one of their neighbors. Actually, two of their neighbors going away, which there hasn't been much action happening. He's been aggressively going after this coast, though. This is actually like a massive development, though. Look at how much land just opened up. This is probably the biggest nation to disappear since the U.S. Everyone else hasn't been that huge, kind of. Which, by the way, everyone's basically got all the coasts. It's just a couple of the inland things that people are still racing after. Japanese California, I will totally welcome that. Wow, just realized the British are back down here getting Cape Colony. The Dutch got some things. That's an interesting name. That's super weird. Oh, yep. Argentina kicked out Sweden. Probably not too difficult. Actually, they are not completely kicked out, but mostly. We have our first perfect leader, and it is from two places. So they have full, you can't go any more than these sixes uh, from, wow, that was not expected. Also, uh, Egyptian Pacific. <laughs> this is so random. Too bad natives, pirates, and rebellions, rebels, don't have leaders. New Iceland is looking great. Look at that going all the way up towards Michigan and they can still continue a little bit more. Danish, Louisiana, Egyptian, uh, Mexico. Cool colonies. Next perfect ruler is now from New Ireland and uh, I guess that does make sense. I know there's a lot of people over here that would love this. I definitely already said that once but gonna go ahead and repeat it again. Apparently Turkey was invading Australia. Not exactly sure how that happened. They're gone now but that's kind of an amazing feat. I'm impressed. Tunisia elected a two diplomacy president so that was not a great idea. Morocco can get even more stuff. They actually haven't gotten as much as I thought they would. Russia really taking advantage of some of their neighbors that are going out which I mean they're so massive it's very easy for them to just squeeze in and take some stuff whenever someone goes away. That was weird. I thought like global warming caused this peninsula to become an island, but that's just a blue from Sweden or something. Oh, that's Egyptian Pacific. I was confused about that. That's an interesting name. Is France still over here? No, I think they got, they, they're gone. No, I don't know what that is. The world pretty much needs China or Russia to elect someone really terrible or maybe not elect, but you know, to someone to come into power and I don't think it's gonna happen. A lot of time's gone by. Let's go ahead and check the top score. So Egypt squeezed it in there in eighth place. China dropped a lot. The British, Mexico, Germany. Funny thing is these three were really close to the bottom at a lot of points and they didn't fall. Spain pretty high. Canada number two. And yeah, Russia number one. Like I said, Russia really needed to be uh, make some mistakes. They they were not gonna make any mistakes though. That's crazy though. Like like look at point difference. That is massive. Still Canada got two. That's amazing. This is kind of interesting because it wasn't by and it was almost random, but not exactly. I mean it kind of was. And obviously this had some pretty big impacts on the world because you know people were colonizing. Is the HRE back? Oh this is the EU. The EU has been left. All of the West is gone. It's just Eastern EU I guess. And Georgia made it in there. That's new. How did Georgia? Yeah, Georgia, and then all these parts that has been colonized, so there's a bunch of random things. Basic oh, no, North America not. I was gonna say, I thought maybe, like, actual colonies, like, Florida could have made it into the EU. No, it's not gonna get that crazy. Although, that is pretty weird. Arabian Mexicans, uh, Mississippi, Danish Mississippians, New Swedish. We had some weird cultures going on, that's for sure. American, Alaskan, I don't even know. Of course, as I said, this is one of your suggestions. You guys left these comments below, so don't be afraid to give me some more suggestions on what I should delete or how I should delete na nations in the future. This was interesting because we don't do much stuff with rulers and it was kind of fun to see like not only like bad rulers but the perfect rulers because they came from the oddest of places that made no sense and that that was nice. I can only dream of one day being a perfect ruler myself but in reality I'm probably a zero zero zero. That's fine. It's as, as long as I'm uh, more than a zero in your heart. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. And thanks again to Seth L. Ballin' Like Stalin. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. Tyler Beach. A. Mikey. Polovsky. Three Cruz. All Night. Birthday Daddy. Sleeper 56. Militime. Brandon H. Gooder Donkey. Pizza. Maxi G. Swiss Argo. Booster Elijah Senpai. And LPC.